Welcome to Synchronicity. Has society collapsed yet? No? Not yet? Okay. All right. Then we'll just keep doing this thing. Whatever we call this. It, whatever this is. Am I right? Life. Reality. Who knows? We're having a good time. Hopefully, that's the idea. I assume if you're listening at this point, there's something in you that actually wants to enjoy and have a fun time. You're not like in a deranged sense, but just like an overall pleasant experience. I assume that. If not, probably the wrong place. I probably sound like a crazy person who's just insufferable. I get that. I understand that. Uh, but if you're not, we're here. We're going to have a good time. We're going to talk about some stuff. Before we get started, I'd like to say big shout out to the guys at Ned. HelloNed.com. Go check out everything they have to offer. CBD products. What do they call them? Full spectrum hemp oil. Fancy guys over there. Fun guys. Use the code SYNC, S-Y-N-C, at checkout. And you get 15% off your order. There's also these magnesium things, sleep aids, all these things. You're having trouble sleeping. Here's what you don't do. Don't go to the Bahamas and try uh, Maxwell House instant coffee. Instant coffee is fucking amphetamines. Have you guys been drinking instant coffee out there? This is like a different level. You're playing on a different wavelength. You're operating a different space. Maxwell House, it's fucking crack house. What the fuck is going on? Anyway, Ned, mellow out. Have a good time. Use their chapstick. Are you in cold climates like I'm back in? Cold climates, use the chapstick. HelloNed.com, use the code SYNC, S-Y-N-C. You get 15% off every, anything you order. Love those guys. Cool. All right. Whew, yeah. Went to the Bahamas. Flew down. Uh, took a seaplane. Stayed on this island, Bimini. Lovely island. Beautiful place. So many conks. So many of them. Cool times. Not USA. It's okay to travel, it seems like. I don't have corona. I'm pretty sure. I got to get tested like four times. It's cool. You know, I used to not like the swabs. I still don't like the swabs. I just sneeze and I like my eyes tear up. It's cool. It's no big deal. They're not so bad. There should be rapid tests also in, in this country. That's weird that there's not. Can we do that? Where's the stimulus checks? Am I right? I don't need them right now, but I imagine a lot of people do. A lot of people probably do. What's going on there? Was politics still a thing? Do people care anymore? Is that something that's happening? The money stuff I know is still interesting to people. Crypto's been crazy. Just we'll do the quick intro. Go to the Discord server with the Patreon. Oh, just did a fun live stream. Spoke some crypto there on Twitch. You can check that out. I record those and put them for patrons too. That's fun stuff. We're trying to do new and fun things. Can't wait till live events. That's going to be fun. Whenever those happen, I'll let you know. Those are really fun. We've done a few of those for the MindPod Network and a lot of other things. It's good times. It's almost as if when you fully accept that there are no limits to your abundance, the external reality starts to kind of just validate your belief. That's weird how that happens. Also weird how we tend to kind of at times recoil from that. Oh my God, everything I've ever wanted seemingly is coming true. Am I dead? Did I die? Is this heaven? So should I be freaked out now? I don't know. It's fine. It's great. Enjoy it. Who knows? You might die, you might die every second. Is the truth? I think we're already dead. It kind of takes the pressure off, right? A little bit. If you think you're already dead, just operate from the place you're already dead. Not in a morbid, weird way. Gotta be all creepy and like ghoulish. Pretend you're a ghost and just crawl like the ring girl. Don't do that. <clears throat> just be normal. Have a good time. Be a cool dead person, right? It's fun. Anyway, 
Abundance is here. It's always there. So is lack also always there. We think we spoke about it in maybe the past two episodes. It's just there to kind of help you move along. Appreciate, right? That's really what it is. It's an appreciation tool. So is fear. When you transcend fear in a tangible, qualitative, knowing way, that feels good. I think you would be deprived of that sensation without that which promoted it, provoked it. So that's cool. I love that. That's a fun one. Uh, control your inner states and you control your reality. This is something that is just increasingly true and apparent for everyone. Uh, just the more you control your internal reactions to things, the more you recognize you're actually like, oh, okay, I get it. I actually have that ability. And at times it totally feels like we don't. I want to be clear about that. I'm not sitting here saying as someone who's like, oh, 100%. But one thing I've been saying is I know it's going to be a little corny. It's a little religious. Just whatever God means to you, it's just God's peace is my peace. It's like a Joseph Murphy thing. I like it. Just whatever God is, whatever you identify as this one thing, something that's going on is we're each creating our own individual reality. There's this like interface, this medium, time and space in which we project our reality. And it's seemingly one thing external and real outside of us, but we're each creating our, our own individual one. This is not denying anyone else's reality. We honor that because we're part of the same one mind, one source, one God, whatever you want to call it. That's really what's going on. That's an amazing ability. So the, the reason we try to use this stuff lovingly is because as we do that, we accommodate more space and more things. We're an expansive, ever kind of infinite pulsating, you know, being of light. That That's a nice thing to do. It feels more good than bad. It doesn't mean bad is off limits. It, it means good and bad are also just subjective terms in duality. What I can say is that fear, uh, unbridled emotion that is out of control and kind of angry and tinged with a kind of blame and judgment, that's a contracting energy. It's not good or bad, but it is contracting and it comes with its own kind of skills and challenges and tools that we use to deal with it. Love, acceptance, gratitude, that's expansive energy. Also not good or bad kind of good but also not <laughs> but it's it is an expansive energy which is more accommodating you can kind of take a step back and laugh at anything that's not comfortable for a consciousness that feels bound in space and time as many of us do at times that circumstances dictate facts dictate our lives patterns dictate our lives situations relationships dictate what we believe and what shapes and what we're kind of subject to when we, that's it's totally natural to be like you know maybe uh I, this i should be a little afraid of this but you shouldn't it's fine it's really true at the end of the day um when you come onto the cusp of like fear or moving past kind of a, a state of um contraction constriction it feels not so great sometimes. It's like being pressed against the wall. I go back to that scene in Annihilation where like Natalie Poor. I haven't even seen the movie. I just think like, I'm, I'm too much of a pussy to watch the movie. I just like this one last scene that Denise showed me. It's really cool. And the music's cool. I think it's Otisher, right? Who's that? Is that it? Motorot? Uh, it's fucking cool. Either way. Um, fucking she's pushing against this shadow version of herself. Is pushing against her every time she tries to like move against it that's kind of what it feels like when you're afraid of something it's okay to let that go i think a lot of us have the have that uh fear of death physical death that's a normal thing because it's an unknown it's a threshold that we seemingly can't cross i feel like that's why psychedelics seem to be used as a therapeutic a lot of the time for people on the cusp of dying because it opens your mind to possibilities outside of you just being this being in how you normally perceive yourself in reality. And you may have a very expansive viewpoint, but when you push yourself to kind of the threshold of your own consciousness and beyond, <laughs> you have to accommodate more. That's cool. That's fun. You also, I don't say you have to, but the more you can kind of accept um, peace, calm, harmony, unconditional love those things as just innate aspects of your being the 
better things will go, the more reflective you will be, the more clear you will be as a reflection of that truth. You're not compelled to do that. There is, I think I saw Nick, I gotta have Nick back on. Nick Hinton posted something about uh, this conspiracy or something of like these people who have to put out dark energy as a polarity to kind of balance um, what's going on energetically in a world of duality. And that's a very, very interesting thought. I think, I don't know, I haven't come into contact with that being a necessity in this reality, but it, it plausibly could make sense. Totally. As energy balances, um, that could make sense. I think the more what it feels like to me is there's a frequency or a pitch or a vibration or a tonal quality of what we collectively resonate at. And that's where we find ourselves on a spectrum kind of a, of awareness, what we can perceive physically with our senses, extending past our physical senses. That's a frequency. You can think of it like a spectrum of hertz on like a, a oscilloscope. Is that what it's called? Basically, you can see on the spectrum of hertz where you are. So let's say we're, we're humming at a nice 432. Everyone loves 4032. I found an old drum and bass compilation I wanted to listen to so I'm gonna pitch it down to 432 instead of 440 hertz people like that as a vib vibratory state let's say you're resonating there we collectively move up this scale and kind of appreciate and have a broader perspective and resonate at a higher frequency this is not a judgment you know, I'm resonating at a high frequency you man I'm spiritual you're not it's that you just become more aware of certain things um, in your reality, inside of your being, ultimately. That's what I think we're doing right now. I think we're in this process of, typically, it was a relatively harsh process for most people to kind of come to like big realizations on the threshold or through the process of physical death. Now we're getting a wonderful opportunity to kind of transcend some of those themes and energies while we're alive, while we perceive ourselves as being alive. That's cool. I've said it many times. That's badass. You should commend yourself for putting yourself through a process like that. Personally, that's what I think. I think one of the ways we prove this to ourselves rather than just speaking about it and speculating about it is start operating and start applying kind of whether you want the imaginal techniques, the law of believing and changing your core beliefs by feeling yourself to be that which would you want to be or having that which you would want to have. You can certainly start with material things. That's a very good proof, initial proof for a lot of people. I certainly recommend primarily that you do this for states of consciousness, harmony, bliss, ecstasy, gratitude. Those types of things are really hum humbleness. I think that's a good one I've learned many times. Um, appropriate those states of consciousness and then start to see how your reality works. That feels to me like moving up a spectrum of kind of awareness. Just personally, I don't know. That's what it feels like to me. <sighs> crypto, do I really want to go into crypto stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I It's been such a fucking vortex. A lot of things are moving. I just spent like 45 minutes talking about this on the live stream on Twitch. Um, it There's a big thing happening with money right now. There's a lot of Venus action in the skies. There's a lot of kind of big moves with the nodes collectively, Sagittarius and Gemini, uh, respectively, North and South. Um you know, it's there's shifts around how things are working. And one of these shifts is how money will flow from relatively stagnant or static kind of bottlenecks, typically in a funnel type pattern where the wealth is consolidated for a very few relative to energy and, and money terms, where that's being re redistributed. And it is, whether you like it or not. You can see that. You can be like, no, that's not really happening. It is happening. Cryptocurrencies are a large part of it. It's not just cryptocurrencies. There are also stock traders and other people who trade currencies and other things of value. could just be a business. could be real estate. It's happening. Ideally, what we prepare ourselves for as this happens is how do we use this money wisely? How do we use this energy wisely? How do we use it to serve our overall goals of harmony, balance, abundance, love, and not let it conflict with kind of our egos of like domination and assertion. It doesn't mean we can't, you know, even own or have a large landscape of wealth that extends past a lot of things. If we're using it nobly, I'm not opposed to that idea at all. 
doesn't mean I'm in, fi- in favor of despotism, despotism or authoritarianism. I'm pretty sure I'm not. But it does mean that like you can shape your relationship to wealth and abundance now more easily than it seems ever before for more people. I guess that's what I'm saying. It seems more accessible. A lot of these concepts that we talk about in terms of bending reality, kind of shaping our reality by changing our internal state um, is completely aligned with how we're seeing kind of money being exchanged. And I feel like we all signed up for this game, right? And we're all kind of generating this reality. My invitation would be like, take, you know, the pen in your hand and write the story that you want to be writing at this time. It's really fucking incredible. I know everyone can kind of sense the magnitude and specialness of this time and place that we're in. It's very cool. And it might be a little scary if you're not used to that energy. If you're used to things being stable and kind of completely in place, this might be unsettling. But if you're kind of used to going with the flow and enjoying things that are going on, you can experience a lot of fun things in life as an alive person And things you probably didn't even imagine before. That's one of the cool things about expansiveness and love and gratitude and all those things is you you can't even imagine all of the awesome things you're gonna you're gonna do. Sometimes there are feelings that feel better than you thought they would feel. Sometimes feelings feel worse than you thought they would feel. You don't know. Go there internally, suss that out, figure it out, um, and it's worth it. I saw something on TikTok that reminded me of something I said early on in this podcast a couple of years ago, a few years ago. Um about time traveling and how essentially your present self right now can send back versions of like energy and calm and awareness to past versions of yourself. Of course you can do that. That's how time works. You can send, everything's going to be all right. You fucking got this shit. You turn out amazing. The same thing is true for future versions of you sending it back to present versions of you. So this is a time traveling thing. It's really possible. It's It's also way more important to recognize that you can do that without an actual time machine than it is than getting in an actual time machine time machine's cool delorean's cool don't get me wrong probably gonna happen sometime in our maybe not in our lives who knows whenever way cooler to realize that you can imaginally with consciousness go inside your being accept a state in the future that you haven't experienced now oh those beers now can't be real go there embody that that's the same thing as you right now sending back good feelings to past self do both of them that's meditation by the way don't let anyone tell you meditation has to be sit down with your eyes closed and calm breath for 30 minutes do that every day for the rest that also can be not shitting on that but really understanding that you can send positive kind of resonance back to past versions of yourself appropriate states in the future send those back to your present self connecting those dots super important use music muse you sound to do this i bought a new synth access virus ti polar used to have this like 20 years ago it's a great synth the the irony of it being a virus is not lost on me there's a patch called k-hole i wish it sounded better but it just proves it's the right synth for me anyway it's super cool uh got a new drum machine coming that's fun i think we're gonna do like a super short episode it feels like a short episode if you have questions jump on the patreon this month uh it's fucking cool what's going on in the discord there's just yeah there's a lot going on right now take time to breathe get your energy up do things that like physically make you feel alive and invigorated is probably the best advice i have should we pull a little cardsy a little cardsy for us three of swords reversed i love it contracts are ending right probably can feel that one being true whether that's a relationship a job a version of yourself something you found karmically tied to those contracts are ending move past them kind of with effortlessness and grace ace of cups self-love recognizing kind of divine wisdom signified by the dove with the alchemical cross going into the cup of awareness your emotions your feelings letting that stream down into the pool of awareness below lotus flowers come up i'm not even looking at the rider weight, I just know it so well. Uh, basically, fucking good shit. Just love yourself, love things around you. It may sound corny, maybe hard. Just find whatever it is. Maybe it's chicken nuggets. Who fucking knows? Six of Pentacles, balance, Libra energy, Pentacles, a lot of economic financial balance will be coming in. If you can believe that and understand that, it shall happen. Seriously. 
You don't have to worry about that. It's good times. Short episode. I love it. Music is coming out on the Patreon. Mixes are coming out on the Patreon. We're going to be doing some cool music stuff. I'm getting the studio like fully set up. Taking some of these profits from Crypto Land and putting them to good use. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Don't have to be a patron to get that. It's usually on Twitch, but it's cool if you want to be and interact. Love you guys. Super fun. Keep your heads up if they've not been up. And if you've just been getting rocked about, it's okay. It's a lot of frenetic energy. It's Mercury retrograde. It's kicking people's asses. It's going to be over soon. Spring's around the corner. You're going to feel pretty good. Pandemic's going to look interesting. There's only so long that people can be contained inside. We'll see what happens. Wear your mask. It's a nice thing, nice thing to do, but you know who knows what's going on. You know my theories. Anyway, I love you guys. Happy imagining.